Hi, I'm Michelle Vargas, and my husband is Bert Vargas. He's a neurologist, and he was kind enough to give me for Christmas, because I'm a nerd, the Hygiena's System Sure Plus device. This device, along with the Ultra Snap swab testing devices, um, measures the amount of residual ATP that is left on any surface, and that is what's going to um, tell us how clean that surface is. Now, ATP, we'll do a crash little course on microbiology. If you don't remember cellular biology and all that. This is from their instruction manual for this device. ATP is an energy molecule found in all plant, animal, and my, uh, microbial cells. All organic matter, living or once living, so we can have dead cells here as well. It's gonna measure the ATP from them as well. Uh, all of those contain ATP. The detection of ATP on any surface or in water indicates the presence of biological matter. So that is what we're doing with the swabs. We're gonna see how clean the um, surface is after we've cleaned it. And we're gonna compare products in our next video. Uh, this device measures extremely low levels of ATP and gives us a reading in RLUs. RLUs is relative light units. And that is not um, the exact number between bacteria or any living organisms on things, but it is a um, it is in direct relation to how much is there, okay? But not exactly that many um, bacterial cells. And then we are going to go off of the industry standards, and I will copy this and put this in the link below, as well as information on the device and the company. And these are what is considered pass, caution, and fail. These are the results. And it's based on whether it's dairy products, juice, raw meat, etc. Okay, they have different standards as to what's safe and what's not. And food processing plants, hospitals, and sanitation companies use this device and these swabs in order to know if their, um, product, their uh, equipment is cleaned well enough. So the, we'll put more information below too as to the ratings, but we're gonna go by the strictest standards and that way we will know things are actually clean, okay? The um, results, you want it to read a 10 and under to be absolutely the cleanest that it can possibly be. Again, it could be dead bacteria. It doesn't tell us what kind of bacteria or things, it's just the presence of ATP from living or once living cells is what we're testing. Anything between 11 and 30 is the cautionary. If it's going to be in direct contact, like a plate with food, then you want it to be on the stricter end. You want it to be 10 or less. If it's non-direct contact, say it's your microwave buttons or what have you, then between 11 and 30 is considered safe. Anything 31 above is always a fail, okay? Um, and let's see here. I think that's about all I was gonna tell you. And then other than um, we're gonna test on a non-porous plate, and that way we can get and use the strictest standards. So that's our brief synopsis, and we're gonna move on to the next video for actual testing comparison of products.